today we are doing the brake upgrade on the 60. I have got a bunch of goodies here that I'm gonna, I started unboxing and then I stopped and I thought, oh, I'll wait for you guys. So um, we'll unbox all this stuff, show you what I'm putting in the car, and then we'll start pulling the front wheels off to get the uh, caliper upgrades. Cheers, Jay. Keep making great videos, doing an awesome job. Nice haircut. I mean, I thought it was pretty nice. Pretty, thanks buddy. So the first item comes from Ethan. Ethan, thank you so much for helping me out. Brake booster, dual diaphragm, brake booster. This is off late model, late model 60 or early model 80, so it's not ABS. Here's the first one. Second round of stuff all comes from onlineautoparts.com. Oh, there you are. <laughs> so this is a master cylinder to suit the uh, upgraded booster. LN106 calipers. Ooh, they are fresh. Man, look at these things. God damn, look how nice they are. So two of these. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, two of these. I think we might just get the car raised on stands. Have a look at trying to get these fitted. I reckon that's the first option. Wait, you so tight. Oh, jeez. So this kit I'm installing is um, pretty common. It's on the 60 Series Land Cruiser Australia page on Facebook. I believe it's one of the documents that's uploaded on the tab. Or if you just search uh, brake upgrade, you'll find a Word document that somebody's made, basically outlining all the gear that you need. Okay, so 270 mil, one here, one a bit further down. Uh, just get the brake line, and then this thing should just come off like that. So those are the old piston sizes, if you can sort of get a bit of a gauge. And those are the new piston sizes. So, monster increase. Get them both in, yeah. From one to two, that is crazy. So, that's gonna be a whole lot more stopping power. That's pretty much on, and it just touches it. We're taking off like, <laughs> five, five millimeters of this and this. This one's gonna go on like, sort of, whoop, one-handed, just like that. And we've got plenty of clearance. Okay, maybe not. Might just love tap these little lips. You're all gonna fall now, watch. Oh yeah. This was an incredibly easy thing to do. That was um, just way too easy. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the other side, I'm just going to do it. How about that? The other thing I'm going to mention is I will be talking these down to about 90 foot pounds. That was what I found online, so that's what it's going to get. Alright, with the uh, calipers done, uh, we're going to start pulling this old one off. So, where the hell did that? so we've got two brake lines, four bolts here. We'll try and get this master cylinder off first. Anyway, we'll work all this out, get this off, and get the new one hooked up. See those four bolts right there? Those four bolts are gonna come off. There'll be a pin in this, I'm assuming, yep. And that'll free out that cable and we'll be able to pull out that diaphragm. Sure. All right, so to get these brake lines to sort of work in the engine bay, I'm just very carefully going to just try and put a little bit of an angle on this one, get it in nice and good. Yes. So we've got the same connection. All right. I wonder if I can make these brake lines in the car. And then all I have to do is get uh, calipers, uh, pads. That's the one. Whew. All right, I'll do the other side. And then all we're gonna do is pads, which will be tomorrow. We have, uh, we have smashed this, bro. If I had um, pads, this would be done in a day. This is like a three hour job. Incredible. I thought this was gonna be way more complex. Guess not. So, update, did not need brake lines. Um, all the brake lines worked. Ones in the engine bay did take some manipulation and a lot of tapping, but they came in. So with that done, lead the brakes and uh, that's it. That's unbelievable. This video will be up for Thursday. You. All right, new day, got brake pads, so we'll throw these on. All right, pads are on, uh, brake fluid. Stop. All right. It's done. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly talk everything down wheel-wise and then we're gonna go for a spin and make sure I don't crash. Uh, we got Blake's, uh, Blake's, brakes all bled. 
mean, I think, I think they're good. I just, it's hard to tell. I'm stopping. That's a start. I'll just do a cheeky lock and then uh, come back and reassess. Heaps better. Wow, actually that's really good. Alright, no one behind me. Let's get up to 60. That's about 60. Three, two, one, go. I think they work, mate. I kind of realized now I probably should have done it before. It's definitely an improvement. It's a little late onset, like definitely the first sort of 50% of the pedal still feels like it doesn't do as much, which is probably the same for the old brake setup. Um, oh, far out, it's incredible. So there you have it, that's grouse. Uh, $600 upgrade and a massive safety improvement. I fucking smell them, I've been cooking them. <laughs> um, thanks so much for watching, if you liked it, Give us a thumbs up, uh, consider subscribing if you want to see more stuff like this. Um, next week, I'm going to change the water pump into a radiator, uh, and then we're going to start building in the rear drawers or something like that. So, uh, peace and Merry Christmas. See you guys soon.